Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. We are doing a eyeshadow palette review today, and this is the exciting 35XO Morphe palette that just came out. It is $25 online at morphe.com. It is $25 at ulta.com. It is amazing, and if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know I'm a freak when it comes to purples and pinks, and check this out. Mind you, purples, pinks, and cool tones are my oh, holy grail. I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look using a lot of these colors, but I'm doing it. You're going to laugh. Okay, don't laugh. Don't. I mean, it's kind of funny, but I'm doing an ASMR eyeshadow look. And if you guys don't know what that is, it is somebody who talks like this when they put their eyeshadows on. Okay, because I thought it would be really hilarious to do a sexy eyeshadow tutorial <laughs> like that because let me just tell you the names of these eyeshadows i mean this is like like candy to me this is butter this is like oh but the names let me just read some of these names single life across the room come here often your move uh hard to get body language talk feelings kiss me happy ever after make it official I mean, come on, like, let's snuggle, show me some skin, kiss me, date night, love story, charmer, meet online, matchmaker, uh, touchy-feely, hard to get. How could I not do a sexy, what is it called, ASMR video for you guys? So I am doing this look that I am wearing. If you guys don't want to watch the eyeshadow tutorial, totally get it. Just skip to the end of the video so you can watch my final review. But I am actually testing like the glitter. I'm testing the ones that a lot of people will, their eyes will focus to. Now, it is kind of good to see when you put it on your eyes just because a lot of times you'll swatch it with your finger and it won't transfer or you or you put a brush on it and it won't transfer in a lot of other eyeshadow palettes. Now, did I have that problem with this palette? You guys just gonna have to wait and see what and if anything transpired. <laughs> but let's go ahead and just jump on over to that video. I do think this is such a beautifully arranged palette. And I would think, that, and I know that I think if you got this for anybody for the holidays, it would be fantastic. Look at this, look at the, I mean, this is what it looks like. And then this is the actual box. It comes in, as you can see, it is beautiful. When you pull it out of the box, just FYI, it is like major bubble wrap. So it is super protected. It's actually a double layer bubble wrap. So fantastic gift, get it, ship it, um, you know, order it online, go to the store. Uh, I don't know, whichever way you decide to purchase it, but let's just go ahead once again and jump on over to that video. your eyes on me as I lay down my primer potion and then just rub it rub it all over the skin do you come here often I'm just gonna rub it all over the eye and rub it I like to get a little touchy-feely. So I want you to touchy-feely my skin in my crease area. Move it like windshield wiper motions back and forth. Really re-dip and get that pigment in there. I think it's time for us to talk feelings because talking feelings is a different color of emotions and I'm going to take this different color of emotions and put it on the lower part of what you just did and again repeating the windshield wiper motion I think it's time to show me some skin just pack it down right there. Yeah, I like it on the outer edges. And then just swish it a little on top of what you did. Swish, swish, swish. Pack it down. Swish, swish, swish. 
wish. I want you to come and kiss me now. Kiss me all over where you haven't touched me on my eye. I don't like the way you're kissing. Just on the corner and just touch it a little on top. Oh yeah, that looks great. I want you to come with a clean brush and just smear it all together. Smear it all. Blend it. Blend it more. Oh yeah. Look how it just blends onto my skin. I'm gonna put it in your corner. It's your move. Push it right here. Push it right there. Yeah. And then I want you to stroke it on the bottom. When you come across the room, show me some more skin. But on the bottom now. There we go. There we go. Going back and forth. Line it. No, draw on the lines. Draw on the lines. And just swish it. Swish it. Okay guys, so what did you think of the eyeshadow look? I thought that I think it actually looks really pretty. Look at that, like it's so Christmassy and beautiful and like flirty. Pinks are flirty, that's why I wanted to do this video, this ASMR video. And I, know, I hope you guys liked it. Tell me if you liked it, if you wanna see more videos like that, because I actually had fun making it. But I think that pinks and purples, especially pinks are very like, are very romantic they're very soothing they're you know they they're like that that flirty color that you wear uh you know 
if you want somebody to be attracted to you. Anyways, I will say that when it came to the glitter, so I'm gonna go ahead and run my hand in the glitter, you can see that. Like it did not transfer with a brush. Let me, so, and I do wanna show you the glitter cause that's what most people will be like, ooh, I love that color. So I rubbed it in a lot, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and swatch it on the back of the hand. So you actually have to get quite a bit on your finger for it to come out like that. Because if you don't, let me go ahead and just wipe my hand off and then re-dip and show you. If you really don't like rub it, rub in it, into it and get that like top layer a little bit, um, how should I say, a little warm. So it kind of all smooths out. This is kind of how it will go. You know, it's not as you can see it can be more sporadic. So make sure that you warm up the glitter with your fingertip. As far as the Kiss Me, check it out. So the, the Kiss Me did not transfer with a brush. It transferred with my finger because you can see here. So that's the transfer with my finger. And when I come over here with the brush, I'm just gonna kind of pat it down. I patted it pretty darn hard. As you can see, I picked up a lot. So here we go, I'm right next to it. So it does not transfer with a brush. You can see that. I mean, it transferred a tad bit, but so a lot of these colors, you will have to keep in mind, if they're not transferring with the brush, you will have to dip your finger into it. When it came to the mats and stuff, you know what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch everything on my arm for you guys. And I'm gonna go row by row. So I'm gonna do like the whole top row on my arm, next, next, next. So I'm not gonna go by one after another, after another. I'm just gonna take the swatches. It's gonna be really, really quick. Boom, boom, boom. This is how they all swatch. This is the top row. And let me just tell you, okay, let me move my arm back and forth so you can see it glisten off my studio lights. Look at that. This is amazing. Yes, okay, so like I said, the mattes do have some powder to them. I really don't care about that. I care about the color pigmentation, the payoff. I think that these are buildable co uh, colors because you can see that some of them are less pigmented than others. Some of them obviously are a lot softer. They're new, they're like uh, cool tones. But let me just tell you, this first row, I was not expecting that. That is absolutely amazing. The first one is silver. It's supposed to be like a silver color, but it turns off like more with like a, a, a whitish gold champagne tint. So this first row, honestly, this is why I think I'm so in love with this palette as well, because this first row in this palette can be used for highlighters and blushes. You can't tell me that you can't use that color for a blush, nor these color, nor this color for a blush, nor these colors right here for highlighters. That is amazing. If you are a darker tone, you could take these rose colors and use them for blushes. You could use them for, or I could actually use that for blushes, but this, the rose colors, these darker, uh, uh, shinier colors can be used on darker skin. I think that this is amazing. And if you didn't, I mean, like if you're traveling somewhere, you take one palette, you have your blush. I use the dark, uh, what was it? Make it official for the eyeliner. Come on. Like, um, this has so much versatility to it. And I really honestly, truly, honestly think that I could even use maybe one or two of these for my eyebrows, you know, but look at these colors. Like you can't tell me that they are not amazing. Um, like I said, I got this at Ulta. It was amazing. I had it shipped to my store. I will post any links I can find to it. Um, if I, if they are sold out because they sell out of this palette pretty relatively quick, if they are sold out, I will post links uh, to Amazon. If I can find that, if not, I will post the actual Ulta and the Morphe, um, links. And hopefully when they restock, you know, if they are sold out, uh, you can purchase it, but absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. I hope you guys think this video was amazing. Please let me know down in the comment section. Did you enjoy this kind of video? Was it a little bit too too, too much TMI for you? I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done an ASMR video. I think that's what I said. Where did I, yeah, ASMR video. <laughs> I thought it was quite, quite fun. Kind of change it up. 
you know, do something like if you think it's a little bit too graphic, just let me know down below and tell me what did you think about this palette? What did you think of this video? I love you all. Mwah. Happy holidays. Thank you for being with me through this 2020 horrible year and all these these i think it's going on 11 years or 12 years these that i have been doing youtube i appreciate every single one of you guys for supporting me and my channel you know let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day i love you all thank you so much for watching i'm christina marie i'm out bye